Should be good. What is up? We're back working on the Kimbo again today. I'm gonna be installing the Rotopax uh, uh, water container. This is the two gallon container. I'm gonna be installing it on the back of my Kimbo uh, camper here. You can order these from Kimbo with the Rotopax already installed. Um, and it comes with the, they only come with the fuel tanks though, uh, as far as I know, maybe you could request the water one, but it only shows the uh, fuel tanks. But anyways, uh, I wanted a water one so we could have extra uh, water for our sink inside and then just extra water for uh, camp. I might end up installing a spout to this as well, but I'm not sure yet. The other reason why I wanted to install one on the back is when I purchased my Kimbo uh, from the uh, auction, it actually had this damage on the back. It had a scratch because the jack plate was bent and obviously someone used the hand crank before bending the jack plate back um, and scratch the back all up. So that was real cool. Um, putting the water pack up here, it's gonna cover most of that scratch and I can live with that. These things, um, you know, they're, they're pretty tough and they get kind of scratched and scuffed up anyways. That's the beauty of having uh, the whole aluminum body is um, so that stuff's really not that noticeable and it kind of just adds to the character of the Kimbo. So uh, that's what we're doing today. Okay, uh, what I did here is uh, held the mount up and it's got four screw holes um, for the bolts. So I held that up and measured from the bottom and from the side to get it uh, square. And then you can also see there's these lines in the pattern of the Kimbo trailer. So uh, those work really well to double check that you're um, level with everything. So measure that, got it all level, and then mark my holes here. And then that's just the center hole um, on the mount. So I'm gonna drill these out for the bolts. And then um, we'll add some uh, Sika Flex sealant to our bolts and then to the backside of that mount to waterproof this completely. Um, this Okay, so we're gonna add a little Sika Flex 221. That's what they use um, on all the uh, interior rivets and bolts. So we're gonna just add a little bit to the outside here and then we'll uh, add it to the inside around the bolts. Okay, so I came on the inside, added some more Sika Flex, and then put our washers and our nuts on. These are lock nuts. I've got the outside carriage bolts um, taped. We'll get this tightened up. Okay, so we got them all tightened up, tightened up there. As you can see, they look just like the stock uh, nuts and bolts that um, Kimbo puts in. There's also another set down there for the, um, that's for the straps, the tie downs that go to the truck. But there's our mounts for the Rotopax. Okay, so this is actually the wall insulation. And you can see uh, they cut out this square uh, about halfway through the insulation. And that's to give room for the bolts um, on the Rotopax mount. Like I said, mine didn't come with the Rotopax mounted, obviously, since we're installing it. But they have all this stuff kind of pre-cut. Um, so it can be added at the shop, I guess. But you can see our- I'm gonna show you guys. There's the uh, insulation put back in. All you gotta do is tighten down the thumb screws and the Rotopax install is complete. So I'm not gonna tighten down those thumb screws though because I'm gonna be installing an all aluminum uh, backsplash all the way up on these panels, that panel, and then this panel here for my kitchen. So that's what I'll be doing next. Okay, so simple as that. We've got our bracket mounted up here. 
slide our rubber packs on. Give it a quick snap. Oh. There we go. There's the Kimbo with the rotopax mount. 